In this video, we're going to be looking at constructing a confidence interval for a population mean. We'll go ahead and continue on with the example that you saw earlier in the hypothesis testing section. We found strong evidence to suggest that the mean SAR levels for cell phones is in fact less than 1.6 watts per kilogram. We might ask ourselves, well, what exactly does that mean? And to answer that question, we'll construct a confidence interval. Our confidence interval is going to have the form point estimate plus and minus margin of error. Now this margin of error includes two pieces of information. It includes a T critical value based on N minus one degrees of freedom. And this critical value is going to reflect our desired level of confidence. For example, 95%. The other thing that this margin of error includes is a standard error. And since we're using T methods, the standard error will have the form S over square root of sample size. To be more specific, our confidence interval has a formula. We'll take our sample mean, that's the point estimate, add and subtract a t critical value on n minus 1 degrees of freedom, and we'll multiply that by the quantity sample standard deviation over square root of sample size. For this example, we'll construct a 95% confidence interval for the true mean SAR level for cell phones. Now to start, what I need to do is remind myself of the summary statistics for our problem. I go to R and run the favstats function to obtain the mean and the standard deviation, and I get the sample size using that function. Now the other thing that I need to construct a confidence interval is a critical value. So using the commands given to you in the notes, I can use the QT function to find my critical value. The first piece of information I have to give this function is the percentile. So if we have, we desire 95% confidence, the percentile corresponding to that would be 0.975. The other thing I need to uh, give this function is the degrees of freedom. For this, it would be 29. Our critical value for the problem is 2.045. Now I can put all this information in the formula to obtain my confidence interval. So again, I'll start with my sample mean, 0.9904, and then add and subtract the margin of error. The margin of error ends up being 0.1581, and you can verify this on your own. As a final answer, my confidence interval always has the form lower bound with units, comma, upper bound with units. So if I take 0.9904 and subtract a margin of error, my lower bound is 0.8323. If I take my sample mean and add the margin of error, my upper bound is 1.15 watts per kilogram. To interpret this confidence interval, we can say with 95% confidence, it is estimated that the mean SAR levels for cell phones is between 0.83 and, and 1.15 watts per kilogram.